So you wanna make a mini course on Kajabi, but you don't quite know where to start. In this video, I'm gonna give you a two-step process to get going with your planning. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what to do next to make sure that your mini course gets up and running as soon as possible. This is video 24 of Crush It on Kajabi in 90 days. We're talking about Kajabi. We're talking about your online business, how to build it, how to start it, how to grow it on what I think is the best online business platform there is, which is Kajabi. If you wanna jump on Kajabi right now, go ahead and do it, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi, you can get 30 days free. The 45 minute Zoom call one-on-one -on -one with me to talk about your business, talk about Kajabi, how to get the best start on Kajabi and make the most out of these 30 days and my $25,000 course launch email template, which are the exact emails and email strategy that I used to launch my first course, which made me over $25,000. Can't wait to give you those as a way of saying thank you for using my link, which is an affiliate link, so I do appreciate it so much because I do get a small commission when you use it. Okay, so let's talk about your mini course. The very first thing that you wanna do is reach out to your email list. And if you don't have an email list yet, reach out to your audience on Facebook. If you don't have an audience on Facebook yet, just reach out to the people that you know. Anybody who's following you at any level in your niche and in your space, reach out to them and ask them two questions. Ask them, what are you struggling with right now in this area? And this area is whatever you teach. In my case, at Preaching Donkey, I would say, what are you struggling with right now in your preaching? What are your biggest challenges? The second question is going to be, what are your goals in this area? So what are your desires? What are your goals in this area? What that does is you learn from those people and a lot of people will respond. You could just post this on social media. So like if you're a fitness trainer, you might get on there on your social media and just say, hey, when it comes to feeling fit, well, healthy, having the kind of body you want, all that kind of stuff, what is your biggest challenge and what is your biggest goal? What that does is it allows people to tell you in their words what they're feeling. What are they frustrated with? and what do they want? What are they frustrated with and what do they want? And if you ask this question specifically enough about your niche, what you talk about, you can take those answers and begin to see what is the biggest problem people are facing and what is the biggest thing they want? And that's gonna be really important. The second thing you do is something I learned from Miles Beckler. This is where you begin to map out the escape and arrival paradigm. So you ask the question, what are people escaping from and what do they want to arrive to? So what are they escaping from and what are they arriving to? If you have the answers that people gave you to, this is pretty easy because they've already told you what they want to escape from. That's their challenges. And they've already told you what they want to arrive to. That's their goals. And so if you kind of map that out, you can begin to see what do people want to escape from and what do people want to arrive to? Now you as the instructor need to determine what is really the thing that they need. Because they might have articulated a struggle and might have articulated a goal, but only you know how you're going to teach them how to get there. So what really is the challenge? What really is the thing that, that is holding them back? And what really is the thing that they're trying to escape? And then on the other side, what is the thing that you're going to help them arrive to? So for example, let's take this 90 day course that I have. What I'm helping people escape from is a sense of overwhelm when they look at Kajabi or online business in general. A sense of, gosh, I wish I could do that. That sounds awesome, but maybe I don't know how, maybe I don't have the tools, maybe this is for other people, but I can't do it. That's the challenge that I've heard so many times from so many people. So I wanna help them escape that thought. And then what am I helping them arrive to? I wanna help those people, which this is you, I wanna help you arrive to a sense of, man, I can do this. I wanna help you get on Kajabi. I wanna help you get successful on that platform. And I wanna help you at the end of these 90 days to have a successful online business that's rolling and going and meeting your expectations and helping you to achieve your goals in business. That's a huge kind of thing that I'm helping you arrive to. 
So between this space, between escape and arrival, are milestones. What are the milestones along the way? What are the things that people need to learn? What, what do they need to discover? What behaviors do they need to adapt? What kind of things do they need to do between escaping and arriving to see this come to fruition? Those milestones are going to end up being the lessons in your course. So for this to be a mini course, this is why this needs to be a very specific problem. This can't be the whole package. That's gonna be your flagship course. We talked about that in our last video. This is going to solve one problem that's specific enough where people can get an answer to one question. So this 90 days is pretty big. This is not a mini course. This is like a mega YouTube series and this is part of my free content. It's not even a course, but I still have this I still have this thought in every, I still have this thought every time I make a piece of content. What are people escaping from and what am I helping them arrive to? What are the milestones along the way? Once you've determined this, what you can begin to do is write down what the lessons are going to be. So those milestones become lessons. What do people need to know? What are the things that they need to discover? What, what are the things that they need to do? And make it specific and make it concise. And if it becomes too broad and too big, maybe set part of it aside for your flagship course and really hone in on the five or six or seven lessons that are gonna make it onto the mini course. This is the first step to planning, which we'll get more into specifics in the coming videos of how you're gonna put all this together, how you're gonna record the videos, how you're going to teach, how you're gonna set up your slides. We'll get into all that. But right now, what I want you to do is ask those two questions of your audience and then map out this paradigm of escape and arrival. So go ahead and jump on Kajabi using my link. You're not going to regret it. Let me know in the comments what questions you have. I'm happy to answer them in these videos. And subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the videos that we do about Kajabi. And if you wanna know more about Kajabi, click on this playlist right here where I'll go further with you about what Kajabi can do and how it can simplify your life as an online business owner and help you reach your goals. So I can't wait to see you in that playlist or you can wait for the next video in this series to pop up. I'll see you tomorrow.